Greetings, this is Stephanie Kwame from the CAD Academy and today we are going to start going through our tutorials. We have a series of tutorials that lead to SolidWorks certification so each one increases a little bit in difficulty and each of these tutorials has exercises that go with them that are dimensioned but you have to plan your work, work your plan and figure out how to do them. The tutorials are step by step. Now um, we have already gone through introduction to SolidWorks so you know that if you hit the home over here that you have a new document, you can open documents, you have kind of a little menu, you've got tutorials and they will give you a menu over here of things to do. You also have uh, what's new, all kinds of things. So, uh, But what we're going to do is I'm going to use the upper pull down and start with a new piece of paper. So we're going to start right here. Our options are making a part and parts uh, make up assemblies and assemblies make uh, and from those you can do a drawings. I'm going to say OK. And now the first thing that we need to do here is we need to change our uh, units of measure. And I found uh, while going out and doing training is sometimes you have half the class in one uh, like in American inches and then you have the other class uh, in the other part in metrics. And so it's a good idea to maybe even check this every class that you do. But we're going to be doing a, sys a, a project using metric. So we'll go up here to Options. Options has two little tabs and what we want is we want Document Properties. And under Document Properties we need to go to Units and you see that we are in inch, pound and seconds. And what we need to do to complete this drawing is change to millimeter. So we're going to select that and say OK. Now uh, what we're going to make today is we are going to make a um, axis and an axis is a straight line around which a body of geometry is. So when we start as an engineer uh, making a part we start with sketch. So we're going to go over here to sketch to start our part, our axis. And we're going to select a circle and now you need to select the plane on which to start and if you have a parts that make up a um, assembly it's really a lot easier if you understand and know how they go together so that you start the part in the right plane and we are going to start this one in actually the right plane as opposed to what I call the wrong plane I'm just kidding but we're starting this in the right plane here and then what I need to do is uh, these are our viewing tools and I'm going to arrow down on this and I'm going to come over here and find the right plane so I can work with my 2D geometry in a 2D uh, plan format. It's going to be really important to uh, use this UCS. This is called a user coordinate system and for this project it's going to be important to use that and when you see that little orange you are dead on on the center and I'm going to go ahead and make a circle. And it doesn't matter what size I make because these are parametric objects. I'm going to say OK here and I'm going to go to Smart Dimension. Smart Dimension is so smart. It knows what if you, it's, uh, if you select a line, an arc, uh, it, or a circle and it can automatically dimension any of these items. I'm going to come up over here and this is a diameter and the diameter that we need to make is 30. So I'm going to go ahead and do 30 and green check OK. And did you notice the geometry changes with the value? And that's called again parametrics. I'm going to say OK here. Now we are going to go into features and features allow us to do some 3D to our 2D ge geometry. And you can see some things are grayed out because we can't do them but we can definitely do an extrude. So I'm selecting extrude and the length of this entire uh, axis project is 80. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make a series of cuts uh, from this first cylinder. If you want to, an F key is a uh, just a quick key for fit. 
So I'm, if I ta tap fit right now, then that homes up that screen very nicely. This has some repeatability about it, and everybody knows when you repeat things, it's a, you remember them better. So when you do them once, it's a little hard to remember, but if you repeat them several times, it's easy. So what we want to do to begin this is we want to say, okay, this is the plane I want to work on. And then I'm going to go to sketch. I'm going to put in a circle. And I'm going to come down and find that center point. I've got it. I come out, I make a circle, it doesn't matter what size because it's parametric and I can change anything about anything really at any time. I'm going to go to Smart Dimension and now select that circle I just made and we'll dimension it out over here and this circle is going to be a diameter of 20. So I say 20 and OK and there I have my first cut. Actually, you know what, I made a mistake that really should be 30 and I mean we started with 30 it should be 25 so then over here in this this dialog box it's dimension driven I can come over here and change this to 25 and say OK and it will change the uh, geometry how cool is that okay now we have a 25 um, diameter circle and so I'm gonna go to features and we're gonna do a series of cuts so I select extruded cut and we don't want to cut up the center we want to uh, cut out away the outer part of this so we need to do flip side to cut and we're not going to go all the way through because remember we started with 80 but we are going to go a distance of 55 and I'm going to say OK and there's our first cut OK let's make our second cut so again repeatability is so nice I'm going to select this plane I go to sketch I'm going to draw a circle I'm going to come down and find my center point on that plane come out make the circle and say smart dimension that circle select it come on out here and this one is 20 so I'm going to make this a diameter of 20 and say OK to Smart Dimension. Go to Features. Right now I've got a little owie there. OK, we're going to go to Features and I'm going to do an extruded cut and the uh, value of this cut then is going to be 40. So I'm going to back this out, just select it, back it out, put in 40 and of course we need to flip the side to cut and I'm going to say OK looking pretty good okay we're going to do two more cuts so I select the front I go to sketch you should be uh, able to go through this in no time when after you've seen it once I'm going to select that center point doesn't matter what size go to smart dimension select the circle come out here and this one is a diameter of 16 and we're going to say OK close the dimension Let's go over to Features and let's do a cut. Now, I think that you could probably help me here now. What, what do I want to do? I want to flip the side to cut. That's going to be very important. And I need to change the value because it's not, all the, it's not as deep as the other one. And uh, this one is going to be 25. And I say OK. Now you did notice when I made a mistake that how easy that was to fix and that's one thing that's wonderful about this program it's really easy to uh, fix problems or errors and as we've been doing this we actually have uh, started a little series over here it, it, it keeps track of everything we do and at um, as you get to know this package better you'll find out that some the sequence of doing things is important and uh, if you're out of sequence you can actually take these and drag them around to where they should be that little dialog box that flipped up in the bottom right hand corner said okay you need to save your drawing and of course it's very important when you're drawing to have keep your drawing safe so you don't lose anything back to the drawing select the face sketch circle center point doesn't matter smart dimension select going up and the uh, value of this one is 12 so we're going to back this out 
put in 12, green check OK, and then we OK dimensions. We go to features. We're going to make our last cut now. This is our very last cut. We're going to flip aside and we're going to say we want this one to be um, 12. and say OK and there we go so that's definitely an axis you have uh, you can definitely visualize a center point through this and the the geometry rotating around that center point so that's basically what we did is we made an axis now we could create a drawing of this right now if we want to but the biggest thing is you're going to save it so saving uh, you go to the SolidWorks icon and it brings up this menu I've kind of put mine up there with a little tack. I'm going to do file and save as and when you save it will automatically increment your your part name or you can put your own name in there the extension is PRT and when you save it you probably want to bring a jump drive uh, to uh, school or uh, find out from your instructor where you can save I'm going to say save and save this because you can't make a drawing out of it and this package uh, makes you save which is a wonderful thing okay there we are that wasn't that bad that was actually again our uh, first tutorial we already did introduction to SolidWorks this is our first tutorial and now we're going to get down and dirty and try to figure out how to do four exercises with no help and I think that you can I know that you can do these exercises from what you've already learned and it's surprising how easy this package is once you get into it uh, you uh, will, it just gets mesmerizing and you end up uh, really uh, going down those exercises and hopefully the instructor will allow you to go down at your own speed but anyway that there is our very first exercise I hope you enjoyed it go ahead and take your exercise and get busy and thank you for listening